with that, we have our first guest traveling all the way across the ocean to give this special speech. I want to make sure I see Dan in there. I think I saw his name on the list. Dan, are you here? Yep, I'm here. Okay. And as is the custom for the contest, I hope I get this right. Our first speaker is Dan McGill, the definition of insanity. The definition of insanity, Dan McGill. Thank you. Are you insane? Are you crazy? Do lally. Are you one roll short of a full agenda? Mr. Chair, fellow screwballs, they say the definition of insanity is to keep doing the same thing over and over, hoping for something to change. But do you know who said that originally? Hmm. Most people think Einstein. But no, he never said it, actually. What about the founder of Toastmasters, Mr. Ralph C. Smedley? He had so many great quotes, didn't he? But no, it's not one of his either. Nobody really knows who said it for sure. But it makes sense, doesn't it? Because why keep doing something that simply isn't working for you? When I was 11, that's me, I had a huge crush on the girl who lived next door. Her name was Emma, that's her. She was 12, an older woman. Every morning without fail, I'd leave my house at precisely the same time as Emma, and, well, we'd walk to school together. When I say together, I was always about 20 steps behind and, well, she didn't know I existed. But I did the same thing every day for three years because I had a theory that one day Emma would notice me there behind her and call out, hey, aren't you the boy from next door? Let's go for ice cream. Emma never looked back. Then one day she moved house. Was I insane for doing the same thing every day, hoping for something to change? Hmm. Yes, of course I was. Yes. But, but, one day last year, I was walking my daughter to school when I felt my phone vibrate in my pocket. Oh, a friend request from Emma. Hey, aren't you the boy from next door? Always loved playing with dolls. Remember me? You used to follow me to school every day. How are you doing? Still stalking people? We chatted for a while. Emma told me she's a full-time carer for her 20-year-old son, Matthew, who was born with severe disabilities. She explained that she spent the first few years of Matthew's life praying for something big to change. It never did. But Emma doesn't look back. For 20 years, she's relentlessly done the same things for Matthew, and she still hopes that one day something will change. What do you think? Is Emma insane? Can I tell you something that Albert Einstein definitely did say? He said, human beings never fail. Not until the moment we give up. But if we're honest, we give up on things all the time, don't we? We give up on ideas, careers, relationships, people, Toastmasters. And on we go to the next thing. But I can confirm that sometimes patience, persistence and perseverance pays off. Because guess what? Earlier this year, I finally met up with Emma. We brought our children along. We went for ice cream. 
seeing Emma with Matthew that day, understanding a little more about the lifelong devotion she has for her son, I realised that doing the same thing over and over, hoping for something to change, it really isn't the definition of insanity. It's the definition of humanity. It's the definition of beauty, hope and spirit. Why keep doing something that simply isn't working for you? You might think Emma has no choice. But according to the United Nations, there are currently 60 million children out there who've been abandoned by their families. That's 60 million children who would do anything for 60 million more Emmas. Right now in the world, wars are raging, poverty is soaring. We're told that mental health disorders in our children have risen by 50%. I don't think anything's going to change for the better anytime soon. Which means we need more Emmas. We need people who don't care if their persistence in the face of hopelessness makes them seem insane. Can you join the army of Emmas? Can you make a commitment and keep going? Even if it starts to feel crazy. Even if you know there's no pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Why keep doing something that simply isn't working for you? Emma will tell you why. And you know, I think Einstein would too. Because Albert Einstein, he once had a theory, a theory that light could be bent by gravity. People told him he was crazy, insane, do lally, one atom short of anything that mattered. But he kept on relentlessly trying, hoping that one day something would change. And eventually, everything did. So if this crazy old screwball of a genius was here with us today, I don't think he'd be advising us to give up, do you? I think he'd implore us to dedicate ourselves to something, to commit to something, and not to give up until we've achieved something. Anything else, surely, anything else would be the definition of insanity, Mr. Chair. <laughs>